Hello, my name is Minnie. In this video, I'll show you how to navigate the setup menu to explore administrator features and SAP CPQ. The setup menu provides SAP CPQ administrators the ability to apply configurations and customizations to the CPQ environment. It is visible only to users with administrative privileges. I'll navigate to the main navigation toolbar and click Setup. This brings me to the Setup homepage. On the left side of this page are various menu items useful to administrators. The System Performance page displays the number of logged errors during the current session, the current day, and the previous week. I can click the View Log button to view and track data that was logged manually. This helps admins find errors that occurred in scripts, making them easier to debug. I can also click the View Developer Console button, a tool used to trace scripts and business rules, allowing administrators to analyze their execution and identify problems. Next, I'll navigate to the Business Performance menu. This page shows a tabular overview of quotes within a given date range and identifies the users who created them. For all the quotes created in the selected period, I see the total and average quote values at a glance. Some menu items have submenus that I can access by clicking on the menu link like Product Catalog. The Product Catalog menu helps manage products, categories, product types, and product operations in the catalog. Here I can create simple products, configurable products, and attributes. The Price and Calculations menu offer links to define currencies and market definitions to support multiple currencies and conversion between them. Here, I can also create price books for custom product pricing and discounts multipliers for price adjustments. If I want to create a promotion for a product, for example, buy one get one free, I'll select the promotions and special pricing submenu link. The users menu helps manage new and existing users, user types, user access, permission groups, and companies. I can also edit billing and shipping information. The UI design menu helps administrators manage customization like branding, catalog layouts, and quote layouts. Quotes created in CPQ can be sent to customers in PDF, Word, or Excel formats. Selecting the Quotes menu, I can create and manage quote templates and generated documents. I can also select custom quote tabs to organize quote data like customer information or generated documents and tabs. Custom fields offers the ability to create fields that can be included in the generated quote document like terms of payment. The workflow approval menu is used to manage the approval process of quotes, including statuses, actions, and workflow permissions. I can manage customers using the entries in the Customers, Customer Roles menu. General settings are displayed under the General menu. For example, Application Parameters provide settings that affect the operation of some CPQ features. These settings are divided among various tabs appearing at the top of the workspace. The settings in the first tab, General Parameters, relate to pricing, display, and interface. Next, user parameters allow the configuration of user-related fields like billing and shipping information, passwords, and formatting. Product catalog parameters has configuration settings for products, categories, and product operations in the catalog. Configurator parameters control specific configurator and responder options. As an example, the rules in the configurator ensure that sales representatives can't select incompatible or non-applicable options for configurable products. Finally, 
The shopping cart and quote tab allows you to specify when certain quote and cart operations take effect. Other menu options worth exploring can be found in the Import Export menu. These features are great for exporting and importing new or existing data, for example, products or customer and company details. The Audit Trail menu allows me to track changes made by users and administrators. Next, I'll navigate to the Setup Home workspace displaying tenant analytics. These provide both graphical and numeric views of the storage used by images, documents, proposals, in the database under total storage usage per month. I can also see the total users, both active and inactive. The user activity in current month displays the total number of user and admin logins and the number of users created. When I click the View button, it opens a grid displaying a detailed overview for each user. And finally, in the top right corner of the workspace is a shell bar containing three icons. I'll click the Help icon, which opens the SAP Sales Cloud CPQ Online Help page in a different tab. CPQ automatically shows help for the page I was viewing when I click the Help icon. Once I'm viewing any Help page, I can navigate to the Admin Guide. I can simply close the tab to exit the Online Help page. The Logout icon locks the administrator out of the SAP CPQ environment. To exit the Setup menu, I'll click on the Exit Setup icon. This returns me to the SAP CPQ landing page. Thank you for watching.